ss I did not copy your last. I did not copy your last transmission. HA6SMT NA1SS. How do you hear? HA6SMT NA1SS. NA1SS on primary. How do you copy? HA6SMT NA1SS on backup. How do you copy? Kanade, hello. Uh, we have not seen the Sakurajima eruption yet, but uh, we understand that it has just become active again. We will try to see it. We've got great cameras on board. We're watching volcanoes across the world and taking pictures uh, when the lighting conditions are good. I think Sakurajima would be very easy to see. We will try to get images over. Hi, Yuka. That's difficult to say. There are so many beautiful things to see from space. I think for me the most beautiful thing was seeing Comet Lovejoy uh, shortly before Christmas uh, rising over Australia. Over. Many, many things. Probably a hundred different kinds of things. We have a lot of different uh, American-type foods. We have a lot of steak, potatoes, vegetables, um, almost any kind of juice or drink you can imagine. We have Japanese food. We have food from all over Europe. And uh, a great selection over. We, uh, we have not, thankfully, had any problems with people being sick for the time that I've been on board anyways. We have a wonderful set of medical equipment, and we even have a doctor on board. One of our crew members on board right now is also a medical doctor. Over. Tell you, if a machine isn't working, and that happens sometimes, we fix it. We roll up our sleeves, we take out our tools, and uh, we become repairmen. And become Over. Me, what I find most convenient about being in space is the fact that nothing weighs anything. I can move large objects around very easily, and I can move a hundred pound or even a hundred kilogram object with just my fingertips. One of the most inconvenient things is it's very easy to place or lose things. Because on Earth, all things fall to the floor, and at least we can find them down below us. In space, things fall in all directions. Over. Mia, what I find convenient about being in a weightless world is Everything is weightless. You can move large objects very, very easy and very, very precisely just with your fingers. The inconvenient side of that, though, is it's very easy to misplace or lose things because they fly away in all different directions. Over. No, uh, there is not. Uh, we, at least in board space station, we maintain a constant temperature that's just like being inside your house at home. Outside the space station, it could be 250 degrees Fahrenheit, positive, or even 200 degrees Fahrenheit negative. Over. Zygo, I have not seen an alien or a UFO except on TV. I'm sorry. Over. Zygo, we have a lot of food. We have enough food to last almost all next year. But if we were to run out of food, I'm afraid we would probably have to return to Earth. Over. Hi, Mina. When we first come up to space station, Sometimes we get a little bit dizzy if we spin very, very fast, but after a short time on board, we get very used to this, and the spinning that you might do on Earth that would make you dizzy does not make you dizzy here, in my experience. Over. Rin, for me, the hardest part of training for, the, for us, um, I think, is being away from your family, being travel, traveling all over the world, training to learn about um, the International Space Station. That was the most difficult. Over. Hey, Juliet 6 here on Mike Tango. This is November Alpha 1SS. Thank you very much for the contact. Best wishes to all the children. Those are wonderful questions. Over.